According to one estimate, the average smartphone contains around 250,000 individual patterns. Any technology company needs to master multiple technologies in order to bring its products to market. Protecting their innovations is one of tech companies' most important priorities. If you don't have IP protection, then the incentive to put effort into creating new things will be severely retarded. But IP rights are fraught with challenges. As the race for new technologies intensifies, how do we keep the playing field level and protect the march of progress? In today's competitive business world, innovation is what keeps companies successful. Everybody needs to innovate. Innovation means change, change that helps us uh, to be more successful. It's an imperative for companies. Companies that don't innovate, uh, they will not survive. The process of innovation is made possible by IP rights and the protection they provide. It costs uh, companies a lot of time and money to develop new technologies. Uh, if those innovations always be used by others for free, why do we invest such time and money if there's no IP protection? The process of innovation is lengthy and complex. The development of 5G has taken over a decade. We start very early in the industry uh, when nobody talked about 5G. We spent 10 years, a group of us experts on this, the lab design, the field trial, to prove this is practical and uh, this is a very important effort, money, people, time has spent on this. After years of exhaustive research, often with no return on the investment required, new technologies must then be made fit for market. You need to take a lot of effort to make it a practical uh, to be commercialized. So these are a very a huge amount of effort for, from my point of view. There's a huge risk that could be failed at any stage. In that sense, as a common practice, uh, we have this intellectual property. This is very important. It protect people doing the first effort to, to make an invention. Investing in R&D is critical to advancing technologies around the world, and some companies do it heavily. Huawei spends 10 to 15 percent of annual revenue into R&D each year. In past 10 years, Huawei invested over 90 billion US dollar in developing new leading technologies, which make Huawei become one of top five highest R&D investors in the world. The ability to generate income is an important role of IP rights too. Huawei holds over 80,000 granted patents across the world. Uh, we have generated around 1.4 billion US dollar revenue by licensing our patented technologies to other companies. And uh, vice versa, uh, if Huawei wants to use uh, other companies' IP, we uh, pay and legally use it uh, by uh, licensing nego negotiation. Technology sharing between companies is a fundamental element of how industries bring new products to market. But IP users and IP owners need to play fair, and this doesn't always happen. A product may actually incorporate multiple pieces of IP, right? And they may actually belong to different companies. And so technology and knowledge gets cut into little pieces that we can sort of trade with. And so the landscape of, uh, of IP rights is complicated. It's competitive and collaborative at the same time. On the world stage, where countries compete for technological dominance, just as companies do in a commercial context, IP rights are used in the same way. Countries are not neutral, they have an interest. The temptation is that countries use IP as their own weapon in this game disrupting the global IP system and disrupting, therefore, global trade, global collaboration, global innovation. You take the dynamics um, and the rate of progress out of the system. Ultimately, this threatens something even greater. Globalization has been spectacularly successful. We are now in a situation where we may actually decouple 
or deglobalize, and this is really, really dangerous, and it requires a fundamental willingness to not only think about yourself, and at the moment, um, uh, unfortunately, uh, the trend worldwide is um, uh, going away uh, from a balanced globalization. This inward-looking, non-cooperative approach threatens global innovation, prosperity and growth. There's a lot of change, a lot of uncertainties. Uh, customer may change, market may change, and the uh, international business environment and the political environment could be changed as well. Uh, but how we manage all those uh, uncertainties by uh, continuous investment in R&D. I believe the ICT industry needs R&D more than ever. We call collaborations with other companies in innovation and IP protection so that the whole industry can uh, keep healthy and uh, prosperous. Uh, thus, all of us can benefit from it. Economic recovery and growth depend on the continued ability of private companies to collaborate even as they compete with each other. Weaponizing intellectual property blocks the collaborative innovation that fuels growth. Forward-thinking leaders must enact policies that reverse this harmful trend and put the world on a sustainable path towards prosperity.